Hey there, Matthew here. So I have had the JBL Charge 5 for a few weeks now. Actually, yeah, several weeks now. And I really like this speaker. This is probably one of my favorite Bluetooth portable speakers that I have. And so we're just gonna go through a quick review of this speaker and decide is it worth the $179.99 price tag that it is originally. So stay tuned. So like I said, this speaker retails for $179.99, which I guess that's not too bad of a price considering the size and the sound of the speaker, but we'll get into the sound a little bit later. Uh, this speaker is definitely a good speaker when it comes to uh, just overall features that you've got with it. So uh, I really like the build of this. It's got that mesh build right here, and I just really like it. It's actually a little bit hefty, but I think this is a good size speaker and the weight is pretty good considering it's got a portable charger in the back. So that's what gives it its name, the JBL Charge 5, is that you can plug another speaker or another, I guess, your phone or anything like that in the charging port right here and it will allow it to charge um, another device, your phone, uh, a pair of headphones, anything like that it will allow this speaker to charge that. So it is heavy, but that's because it has a power bank built into this speaker. And if you don't use the power bank, then this speaker can last a ton of time. It just uses the juice from the power bank and it just lasts forever. So don't worry about having to charge it every night or anything like that. It will last a while. So this speaker has Bluetooth 5.1. Um, so that's really nice that it does have Bluetooth 5.1 instead of just the 5.0 or like last year's Bluetooth speakers or even the Flip 5 from this year 4.2. It does have the 5.1 which is more widely used by more modern Bluetooth devices. Uh, they did finally change from micro USB to USB type C right here. Um, it is nice. It is a nice change. And so I really like that they do have USB Type-C so you can charge all your devices with one cord if you so choose if you have an Android phone. If you have an iPhone, of course, you're going to have to have two cords. But overall, it is nice that they do have USB-C instead of that micro USB, which is pretty old, old generation charging port. But now they do have the USB Type-C. When it comes to the overall physical looks of this speaker, they do have their new JBL logo right here. Uh, it looks pretty nice and I really like that it does have that metal look right here with kind of the orange accent around the speaker. Uh, kind of, it, it's, it is a different look but it's a nice look. I know with their older speakers, as you can see here, uh, we'll go ahead and just compare the two logos. As you can see, there's the difference between the two logos and I do like the newer logo a lot more. It looks more futuristic, it looks more modern, uh, it doesn't look outdated, so that's nice as well. Um, the bass radiators are really nice. They are uh, definitely give off a lot of bass and a lot of, uh, I guess, oomph when it comes to the sound and the music, and you c it's pretty cool that you can actually see the bass moving. So I really like that. Uh, I think it's a cool little touch. I do kind of worry sometimes when I throw this into a bag or anything like that, if, if it's going to mess up the bass radiator. Let's say I've got a pencil or something in my bag, or I have something else that's gonna push up against it. Is it gonna damage it? So that is one, I guess, downside to the speaker is the exposed bass radiators. But overall, I think this is a great looking speaker with great build quality as well. Um, they're not, it's not like, the bass radiators aren't like super, I guess, flimsy, but they aren't super stiff as well. So we'll see how that works over time. But overall, in the last, I guess, month that I've had this speaker, it has held up pretty well. On the top here, uh, like I said in my unboxing and walkthrough, you do have, I guess, six uh, buttons. You do have your uh, power button right here, and you have your Bluetooth button right here. And then on top of that, you have your plus button so you're for your volume, and you have your minus button, so volume down. And then you have your multi-function button, so play, pause, and uh, kind of, I guess, access your Google Assistant through your phone but this does not have a built-in speakerphone, so just be aware of that. And then you do have your party chain, or 
I don't remember what they call it now, but uh, your party chain button, I guess, uh, right there. And you can char you can pair it with any other Gen 5 speaker. I have paired it with my JBL Flip 5, and it does work as a stereo pair, or I guess as a dual pair. Not really stereo pair, because they're both playing the same, but it does work with the uh, Flip 5 as well. So just be aware of that. Um, I think lower gen speakers, so your your Charge 4, your Flip 4, and below, you can't pair this with those, but you can pair it with the Flip 5, and probably the Clip 5 as well. Um, but I don't have a Clip 5, so. Other than that, those are basically your, your buttons, your pause, play, uh, your power button, your Bluetooth button, your plus minus for volume, and your party chain button. When it comes to durability, this speaker is actually very dur durable. It has an IP67 water and dust resistance, so that means that it's going to be able to be dunked underwater for a good amount of time, and it will be able to withstand that and still play music. Uh, it, I believe it's three meters of water for 30 minutes or something like that. I'm not exactly sure the actual specs on that, but if you do have this by the pool and it gets knocked over, you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to damage the speaker at all. Um, you just take it out of the pool and you can start playing music again, or you can play music underwater, I'm sure. Uh, I wouldn't try it, like I wouldn't leave it underwater for a long amount of time, but you can do that, I guess, if you so wish to. Um, it will withstand dust resistance as well, so you can take this out um, on a job site. If, let's say, you work in construction, you can take this out in the construction on a job site. You can take this to the baseball fields if you're doing that, especially with it being summer and you got summer ball going on. And then you can also take this out camping and not have to worry about uh, getting dirt or anything like that on this speaker. So that's also nice that you can do that. Um, I, I like to take it outside with me uh, to my friend's house and just play some music through this and it sounds really good and, and all that. So I, I just really like the speaker when it comes to that. It's very durable and it does have kind of rubberized, I guess, uh, end caps right here on both sides of the speaker itself and that allows for it to be A, sit standing up like this and uh, not having to worry about getting the end caps messed up but also it works, it helps with if you get it bumped or anything like that, if you have it in your bag or have it on the, I guess the water bottle pouch of your bag and you bump the, the edge of it with something in your backpack or outside that when it's connected to your backpack, you don't have to worry about it kind of messing up or anything like that. So that's nice as well that it is uh, durable in that aspect. So let's talk real quick about sound. Well, I guess not real quick, but because sound is the most important uh, thing of a Bluetooth speaker, um, I guess. And I would definitely say this is a very great sounding speaker. Uh, it is pretty good in my opinion. I think that the bass is definitely there. It gives you a ton of bass without being overpowering, but it also gives you really good mids and highs. Uh, I really like that. I love the crisp mids and highs. Lately, JBL has been killing it with their Bluetooth speakers. Their Flip 5 that was and is one of my favorite Bluetooth speakers, especially with portability that I've had in a long time. I can just hear almost every detail of the music. The bass notes, the low notes, um, I can hear the mids and highs. Uh, just everything just sounds so good. I will say I have noticed that the speaker itself, when sat on an angle or on a table, flat table, the bass radiators are actually angled slightly um, so that should help also with um, separation of music slightly. I know with the Flip 5 that was the case as well is the the bass radiators were angled slightly as well and that kind of gave you a little bit of distinction between your bass and your mids and highs so I did notice that with the uh, Charge 5 as well. Um, this speaker also has basically I guess four, I guess you could say, uh, built-in speakers, but really it's just two. But you do have your bass radiators, one, two, and these don't really count as speakers as much as it is. It's a show, but it also helps with, uh, um, I guess, airflow 
um, and, and all that. But also you have a speaker here and a speaker here. So you have a main speaker and then you have a tweeter here as well. And so that's really nice that you do have the two. Um, it allows for more distinction of music. I know with the Charge 4, the Charge 3, and all them, they only had one speaker, um, one right here. I believe it's on this side, but one right here and none right here. And so you were the one speaker here was pushing out both your mids and highs and, and everything else. And so with the Charge 5, they do have a slight distinction between the mids and highs and, and other other details I guess and so it is nice that they do have two speakers built into this so you do have that distinction between uh, different I guess music um, and different levels of your your sound frequency and all that so that is nice that you do have that which also gives you better sounding music uh, you can hear the details more you can hear uh, vocals you can hear instruments and then you can also hear like the deep bass of let's say a cello or or a deep str uh, like a string bass or anything like that or or let's say your bass hits when you listen to hip hop and rock and and pop and all that so it's really nice that you do have the differences and you do have two different speakers when it comes to that for the speaker and just overall the sound of this speaker sounds amazing i will say this speaker right here the jbl flip 5 was probably one of my favorite speakers mainly because the distinction between the music was just amazing it sounded great you could definitely hear the differences between your mids highs and lows and this the charge 5 just takes it to the next level and gives you a little bit more sound so you can take this out outside and it sound amazing i i have taken the flip 5 outside and it does still sound really good but at higher volumes it does slightly get a little bit more distorted um, because it's trying to push more bass but the charge 5 i will say i uh, have not had that issue at all i've cranked it up pretty loud and it sounds amazing whether it's low notes high notes whether it's low volume high volume anything like that this speaker sounds amazing so i really like that about this speaker um, the the size of the speaker i will say is slightly larger than the size of the charge 4 and the charge 3 so that's also why this speaker sounds a slightly better also jbo has tweaked their music algorithm so that way the music isn't as warm as it used to be at one point jbo used to be more bass heavy or at least more warm sounding uh, this speaker i've compared it with my friend's charge 3 it's not like a huge difference but i can definitely tell the difference between the two because of how warm his charge 3 sounds and this charge 5 this one definitely has more of a rounded sound and more of a balanced sound versus a more warmer sound of the charge 3 and i'm sure i think the charge 4 also had that issue as well but overall the sound of this speaker is amazing and it just sounds great in my opinion so overall the question is does this speaker at $179.99, is it worth the price? And I would definitely say that at $179.99, yes, it is probably worth the price that they are asking for. However, I will put a caveat and say that this speaker tends to go on sale a lot because that's just JBL's mantra is to charge more than they, sh they should for a speaker and then have that speaker give it a sale and make it $149.99 and give people the thought of, oh, I'm getting it for $30 off when they really should be charging $149.99. So I would definitely say if you can find this for $149.99 or even cheaper, this is a great speaker and a great steal. I would say if it if you can't and you find it for the $179.99, it's still a great speaker. I don't think you will be sad that you bought this speaker for the $179.99. Uh, it is a wonderful speaker. It's probably one of my favorite mid-size speakers out there. I've had some other speakers. I know I've, I've had the Bose SoundLink. Um, system of speakers and I've had some of the, the larger Sony speakers and this one right here is probably one of my favorite 
Bluetooth mid-sized speakers out there. Overall, I would definitely say this is a great speaker to buy even at $179.99. So um, I plan on doing a comparison between this and the Sonos Roam because both of those speakers are one around $169, $179.99. So they compete basically in the same price bracket. But of course, this speaker is larger than the Sonos Roam, but I wanted to do a comparison between the two, the Sonos Roam and the JBL Charge 5. I also have a, a video coming out that's comparing the Sonos Roam with the JBL Flip 5 because even though this is a lot cheaper than the Sonos Roam, they are the same size. So I've got one that's comparing the money to the Roam and one comparing the size to the Roam. So just be on the lookout for that. And um, I think those two those two videos are going to be great comparison videos. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been my JBL Charge Five review. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Until then, everyone, stay safe. Peace.